It is an early morning in the lot. A weasel is waking up as the rooster crows. He looks around. The only thing he can see are metal bars. He is trapped, caged. The small weasel lives in the mountainous region of the lot, Vietnam. The weasel is needed to make a special type of coffee, weasel coffee, or more commonly called coffee luak. The climate in the lot is perfect for growing coffee trees because the average temperature in the lot is 25 Celsius. Coffee trees grow in 16 to 24 Celsius. France introduced coffee in 1857 to Vietnam. Vietnamese coffee grew in popularity and was exported to the world. Nowadays, you can see coffee shops literally everywhere especially in Ho Chi Minh City. Today, Vietnam is the second highest coffee producer in the world. Back to our little friend. He is fed coffee berries. After eating the coffee berries, his stomach releases a type of natural enzyme that makes the coffee less bitter. He excretes or poops the berries out. The farmer washes and dries it, so it is ready for production. Some farms treat weasels harshly and with cruelty. People are feeding weasels too many coffee berries. They force them to eat. For weasel coffee to be sustainable, people buying this coffee need to know that weasels are not being harmed. Farmers need to give weasels bigger cages or open spaces to roam and give them a healthy, balanced diet. Also, to keep sustaining weasel coffee, consumers need to know that they are actually buying weasel coffee and not a fake. A local coffee expert said. Và cái yếu tố quan trọng nhất là để duy trì được cà phê trồn, mình phải sản xuất đúng cà phê trồn và thực sự là cà phê trồn thì người sử dụng họ mới tin tưởng họ uống khách hàng quốc tế họ mới uống và họ đánh giá Just like fair trade coffee treats humans fairly and respectfully we also need to do the same for weasels like our little friend the weasel